Peppa Pig Tales. Let's jump in! Today, Mummy and Peppa have brought George to the doctor's for a checkup. Hello, I'm Dr. Peppa Pig. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Peppa Pig. I'm Nurse Miss Rabbit. <laughs> and this is Dr. Brown Bear. Ready for your checkup, George? No! George <gasps> has never been to the doctor's before. He is a little nervous. Don't worry, George. The doctors just want to make sure you feel good. Exactly. Come on in and don't forget your little red book. <laughs> First, Miss Rabbit and Dr Brown Bear need to check George's height. <gasps> Step this way, please, George. No! But George isn't sure he'll like the height measurer. <laughs> How tall am I, Miss Rabbit? Wow! You're getting very tall, Peppa. You'll be a big grown-up soon. <laughs> George wants to know if he is very tall too. Wow! You're so big and tall, George. <laughs> now it's time to check George's weight. <gasps> with a special machine called Scales. <gasps> this machine will tell us how much you weigh, George. And it's really good <laughs> for bouncing. <laughs> George loves bouncing. <laughs> and freeze. <gasps> mm-hmm. And unfreeze! <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to listen to George's heart with a special tool called a oh. stethoscope. Oh. Mm. This might be a little cold. <sighs> the stethoscope is very cold. Oh. Try this, George. <gasps> You can listen to my heartbeat too. George likes listening to Peppa's heart. <laughs> Yay! You did very well today, George. So you get a sticker. Oh. <gasps> Dinosaur. <laughs> And one for Dr Pepper Pig for being so helpful too. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Pepper, the dentist. I'll help you look after your teeth. Whoa! Today, Miss Rabbit has come to teach Peppa's playgroup about teeth. Peppa is pretending she is a dentist. <laughs> Got you. For you. Thank you, Peppa. Well, now that you've caught your teeth, <laughs> who knows what we can do to look after them? Um, um. Go to the dentist? That's right. Who has been to the dentist before? Me, 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 me! Gerald Giraffe has not been to the dentist before. Can I show Gerald what it's like at the dentist, Miss Rabbit? I've been lots of times. What a great idea! <laughs> Peppa is pretending she is the dentist and Gerald is the patient. Hello, Mr Gerald. Please sit on this enormous chair. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Dentist. Here is your apron. <laughs> <gasps> Why do I need glasses, Mrs. Pepper? For this big light. Please open wide, like this. Ah! Uh, so I can see your teeth. Ah! Uh... Pepper is using the torch to see Gerald's teeth. You have very nice teeth, Mr Gerald. So you get a sticker. Thank you. <laughs> Hooray! Well done.
done, Pepper and Gerald. <laughs> Does anyone know a way we can look after our teeth at home? Um... Better, we can brush our teeth. That's right, Susie. Brushing our teeth keeps them clean. Shall we practice brushing our teeth? Yes! Miss Rabbit is giving everyone toothbrushes so they can practice brushing their teeth. First, we get the brush wet. <laughs> <laughs> then we put some toothpaste on. Everyone is adding little dollops of toothpaste to their toothbrush. But Candy has added a big dollop. Now what do we do, class? We... Brush! <laughs> Remember to brush the front and the side, tops and bottoms. Well done, everyone. <laughs> everyone did very well today, so everyone gets stickers. Oh. Peppa likes pretending to be a dentist and Peppa really likes stickers. Today, Peppa and George are playing grown-ups. Oh gosh, oh gosh, where is my bag and my hat? We're off to work now, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and what job do you think you'd enjoy when you're grown-up? Dinosaur! George wants to be a dinosaur. Hmm, I think I would enjoy being a dentist. Then I will make sure everyone's teeth are nice and healthy. Hmm, interesting. Uh, uh, hang all right. You've got lots of clean teeth, Mummy. Oh. Here's a sticker for being so brave. Don't forget to brush your teeth. Who's next? <gasps> Silly George. Dinosaurs don't go to the dentist. <laughs> they go to Dr Hamster the vet. But you can have a sticker anyway. I think you'd make a very good dentist. <laughs> and you'd be an excellent dinosaur, George. But I'd also like to be a bus driver. Then I could take all my friends to the park. Tickets, please. Next stop, <laughs> the park. Stop! You forgot us. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> you have to stop at all the bus stops if you want to be a bus driver, Peppa. Oops, <gasps> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd be a brilliant bus driver, Peppa. But I don't just want to be a dentist and a bus driver. I also want to be a teacher. Oh. <laughs> then I'll teach everybody how to paint. You can paint a butterfly using handprints like this. <gasps> Dinosaurs don't go to school, George. Perhaps you could open a school for dinosaurs. But when I'm grown up, I also want to jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> and George will be a dinosaur. And they will always love jumping in muddy puddles, even when they are grown up or dinosaurs. It is bedtime, but George isn't sleeping, so neither are Pepper or Daddy Pig. What now? We've already read every bedtime story. There is one book we haven't read. I've been saving it for an emergency. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. The very long and very...
very boring story <laughs> to help sleepy pigs fall asleep? Yes, the very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. Oh! <laughs> story! Once upon a time, there was a hero named... Super Peppa! <laughs> um, yes, Super Peppa. Whee! She spent all her days helping the people in her neighborhood. <laughs> Until one day she heard about a jumping giant who wouldn't stop shaking the town. The giant won't stop jumping. I'll help you. Super Pepper found the jumping <laughs> giant. Dinosaur. Oh, yes, George, the jumping dinosaur. Super Pepper tried everything she could to stop the jumping dinosaur from jumping. Like asking him very politely? Yes. <laughs> uh, excuse me. It's the dinosaur, sir. Excuse me. They tried some bedtime music. This will put him to sleep. <sighs> so relaxed. But the music only gave the dinosaur more energy. Super Pepper tried giving the jumping dinosaur a warm bath. Oh! Wow! <laughs> she tried giving him cozy pajamas. She even tried counting stars. One, two, three, four, five! That's everything we did. There's nothing left to try. <sighs> the bedtime story has helped George fall asleep. Hooray! Thank you for your help, Peppa. Sweet dreams. Thank you, Daddy Bert. Now I'm not tired. Can you finish <sighs> the story? George! Tonight, George is having a sleepover with Edmund Elephant and Richard Rabbit. All right, everyone. Time for bed. Don't worry, Mummy. I'll make sure they all go to sleep. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Come on, then. Into your sleeping bags. Quick march. Peppa likes being in charge. Well done, Peppa. Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs> Only joking. <gasps> you can't go to sleep yet. There's lots of fun things you have to do first. <gasps> George has never had a sleepover before. He is very excited. First, we have to have a midnight feast. Ah! Oh, you've turned into ghosts. <laughs> I know a spooky story about ghosts. George, Richard and Edmund love stories. This is a ghost story about a muddy puddle that wasn't muddy. Ahem, paranormal apparitions, or ghosts as they're commonly known, do not exist. It is scientifically impossible. Edmund is a clever clogs. He doesn't believe in ghosts. Can I tell a story? Um, OK. <coughs> Ahem. Once upon a time, there was a giant pig... ..and a, a very small rabbit. Squeak, squeak, squeak! And they chased each other forever and ever. <laughs> the end. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good story. Oh, I've got another one. This one is about... George, Edmund and Richard have turned into ghosts again. <laughs> Silly George. <laughs> oh, do you know what's next? Yay! We have to stay up very late until, um, 
one hundred o'clock. Ready? Oh. I don't think George understands sleepovers. <laughs> How's everything going, Peppa? They're fast asleep, Mummy. Well done. I think you've earned a midnight feast. Hooray! George and his friends like playing sleepover games, but they love to sleep. Pretty cool, eh, Pepper? <laughs> Daddy, we're getting shoes for George, not you. Oh, yes. Today, George is buying <laughs> some new shoes. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We need some new shoes for George. <laughs> George's shoes are very old. Well, you're in luck. The shoe shop has lots oh. of shoes. We'll find George the perfect pair. First, we need to measure your feet. Pop your foot in the measurer, please. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is measuring George's feet to help him find shoes that are the right size. Your feet are very small. That's because George is a baby. <laughs> no. George is not a baby. Follow me. <laughs> oh. We keep all our very small shoes over here. Which shoes do you ah. like, George? Shoes! <coughs> Those are bowling shoes. George <coughs> loves to go bowling. And he ah. loves bowling <coughs> shoes. Are you sure you want those shoes, George? <coughs> shoes! Shoes! <coughs> those are tap dancing <coughs> shoes. <coughs> They're very noisy! <laughs> George loves to make lots of noise. Maybe too noisy. <laughs> shoes! <laughs> they are clown shoes. Uh -huh. <laughs> George oh. loves clown Whoa. shoes. Whoa. <laughs> They're too big. And George is very small. <laughs> shoes! Shoes! <laughs> George tries on lots of shoes. Tall ones. Little ones. And even silly ones. But none of them are quite right. Shoes! Dinosaur! <laughs> they are slippers, George. They are not shoes. <laughs> shoes! These are just like your old <gasps> shoes. Shoes! George would like ah. new shoes ah. that are just <laughs> like his old <laughs> shoes. Jolly good. We'll take them, please, Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit? Phew! I'm under here! Oh. Shoes! <laughs> George loves his new shoes and he loves the shoe shop. Everyone loves the shoe shop. Today on the cruise, Peppa and her family are at a very special type of restaurant. This is a special type of restaurant called a buffet. Just take a plate and choose the food you want to eat. Enjoy! Oh, oh goody! The restaurant mm. buffet has lots of different foods to choose from. What would you like to eat, Peppa? Spaghetti is my favourite. Right you are. But we mustn't take too much. We can always come back and get some more. Oh, good idea. <laughs> and what would you like, George? Juice! <coughs> Thirsty, are you? I think we can rustle up some orange <laughs> juice. Let's see here. Aha! The orange juice machine is very loud. And it hasn't made very much orange juice at all. Oh. Juice! We'll just have to make some more. 
delicious. I can't wait to finish. Oh. Mm. <laughs> you were hungry, Pepper. Can I get some more now, please? Oh. Of course. Let's go. Hooray! Grandpa Pig is still trying to make George a cup of orange juice. Oh, dear. Could we have some more oranges, please, Miss Rabbit? Right away. Ooh. Pepper has found a very special pancake machine. Just one pancake, please, Mr. Robot. I can always come back and get more. Mm -hmm. Splendid. Aha! Granny Pig is ah. very excited to eat her spaghetti. Ah. Finished. Oh. Thank you, Pancake Robot. But now, Pepper is thirsty uh, too. Can I get some juice as well, Granny? Of course. Grandpa Pig can get you some. I do wonder what's ah. taking him so long. Mmm. <gasps> Grandpa Pig has finally made a cup of orange juice. <laughs> In fact, Grandpa Pig has made lots of cups of orange juice. Oh. The machine has finally stopped oh. making orange juice. Phew. Silly Grandpa. You don't need to make all the juice. You can always come back and get more. Pepper loves the buffet restaurant. Mm. And George really <laughs> loves orange juice. Today, oh. Peppa and George are helping Daddy Pig tidy some old boxes. <laughs> What's this, Daddy? Ah, that's my trusty old camera, Peppa. You press the button to take a picture. Cheese! And it prints the photo out. Look, I can see it. Can I have a go, please? <laughs> Say cheese! Cheese! Now Peppa is taking photos with the camera. This camera is really fun. Camera! Have fun! But there isn't much photo paper left, so use it wisely. George loves taking lots of photos. <laughs> oh dear, it's run out of photo paper. Oh, but I love taking pictures. Hmm. Why don't we use my phone's camera instead? It can even add filters to a photo. <laughs> Daddy Pig's phone camera has given George a pretend moustache. <laughs> Come on, George. Let's take more photos. Peppa and George are having lots of fun taking pictures. The phone camera has given Mummy Pig a flowery filter. Say cheese! Oh! And Grandpa Pig has a very fine hat. <laughs> Pepper, George and Daddy Pig have come to the park to take even more photos. <laughs> Hello, Mr and Mrs Bird. Oh. <laughs> Say cheese, Mr. Bull. Cheese! <laughs> <laughs> what a funny photo! Daddy Pig wants to take a photo with Pepper and George <laughs> by the ducks. Say cheese, everybody. <laughs> One, two, three, cheese! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George are sticking all the photos from the day into a scrapbook. Look at this one, George. Bye! But some of the photos are blurry. Oh. The photos don't have to be perfect. They just have to remind you of a lovely day. Everyone loves taking photos and everyone has had a very lovely day. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends have come to a special adventure park. Come on, Edmund, you can do it. It's really fun! Whoa! <laughs> 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 
Oh, well done, Edmund. <gasps> this room has a balance beam. You have to walk across it without falling into the ball pit. If you all keep working as a team, you'll get all the way through without falling into the ball pits. I'm good at balancing. Follow me. Now, George, Pepper, and Edmund Elephant must cross the balance beam. But Edmund is finding the balance beam a bit difficult. Try going sideways, Edmund. We can do it together. Hooray! Everyone has made it across the balance beam. Now they must swing across this room. This looks tricky. It's just like the swing in the park, Emily. Watch this. Whee! Pepper is very good at swinging. Hooray! Hold on tight, George. Whee! <laughs> Here you go, Edmund. But Edmund Elephant is feeling a little nervous about it. Why don't we go together, Edmund, as a team? Good idea! Whee! Hooray! We did it! Thank you, Emily. Everyone has made it across the big swing. Good teamwork, everyone. One room to go. <laughs> This is the final Whoa. room, but there is no way across the ball pit. We can't jump that far. And there's nothing to swing on. Ho, ho, ho. This room is a bit of a puzzle. <gasps> Nobody knows how to solve the puzzle and get across. Oh. I've got it. But Edmund Elephant is very <gasps> good at puzzles. <laughs> A clever clogs, you know. <laughs> Everyone has made it through the adventure park. That was very clever, Edmund. Edmund? And Edmund Elephant can't wait to do it all over again. Today, Peppa and her family have come to London to watch Super Potato, the musical. Goodness, we'd better get walking or we'll miss the start of the show. Oh no, we're going to get all wet. Not to worry, we can take the underground train instead. Hooray! The underground train is underground. <laughs> it never rains underground. <laughs> And there is a colourful map that shows where all the trains go. It looks like spaghetti. So, we are here. And we need to get here. We can take the blue train first, and then... Take the red train. Yes, well done, Pepper. Off we go! First, Pepper must have her ticket checked by the ticket barrier. <laughs> Thank you, ticket robot. I'm stuck. Hold tight, Pepper. I'll get you out. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. This way, Pepper. Follow the blue line, everyone. Um, I'm stuck too. <laughs> The train is arriving at the platform from a very dark tunnel. The train is very, very busy. Why is everybody rushing? They are in a hurry. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. On we go. Watch your step, everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome aboard the blue train. Mind the doors. Hold on, Pepper. The underground train is very bumpy. <laughs> on your left, you'll see under the ground. And on your right, you'll see even more under the ground. Change here for the red train. The red train? That's us. Watch your step, George. Hold 
Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> we're here, we're here. The show starts in a few minutes. We might miss the beginning. Oh, no, you won't. Follow me. I'll get you to Super Potato the Musical on time, or my name isn't... Super Potato! Hooray! <laughs> Big celebrity coming through! Make way for the star, thank you! <laughs> no autographs today! Super Potato is in a hurry, too. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. Today, Peppa is playing with her toy blocks. <gasps> Oop! Careful, George. This is a very small town and you're a very giant dinosaur. That gives me an idea. Do you want to play giants, George? <laughs> George is very excited to play giants with Pepper. Hello, Police Officer Panda. What a lovely, quiet, normal day in Toyland. <laughs> and definitely no sign of... <gasps> Hello, I am Giant Pepper. <gasps> a giant! Two giants! <laughs> Pepper and George are imagining their giants in a pretend <laughs> toy block world. Hello, birds. Hello, clouds. <gasps> Hello, everyone. <gasps> Bear, our ball is stuck in that very tall tree. We can help you with that. We are very tall giants. <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie. Oh, careful, George. <laughs> there you go, Susie. Hooray! Giant Pepper and Giant George love to help their friends in Toyland. <gasps> they help the passengers wee! to get on the bus. Oh, wee! <laughs> wee! Wee! <laughs> and help the boats go very, very fast. <laughs> Stop! <gasps> it's the bridge you broke earlier. Oh. Don't worry, we can fix it. Peppa and George are experts with toy blocks. They fix the toy bridge in no time at all. Thanks, Giant Peppa and Giant George. Stop! Uh, I mean, go! Hooray! Hooray! Too. The food in Toyland is too small for Giant Pepper and Giant George. Whoa! Dinner time! Hooray! So they will have to have real food <gasps> instead. Careful, George! <laughs> Today, Pepper and her family have been at the supermarket. Outside the supermarket is a toy machine. Yay! Ooh. Mandy Mouse has got a toy. Look, Mummy! A yo-yo! Well done, Mandy. Peppa, George, would you like a go on the toy machine? Yes, please. How does it work, Miss Rabbit? You just buy a token and put it in the slot. Then a ball rolls all the way down to the bottom of the machine and there's a <laughs> special surprise toy inside. <laughs> Dinosaur! George would like to get a dinosaur toy. How fun! You can have one try each. Here you go. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! George's token makes the machine light up and play music. A ball rolls all the way down to the bottom. George has got a toy screwdriver. A screwdriver! How useful! Dang 
really sure. Don't worry, George. I'll try to get the dinosaur too. Now, Pepper's token <laughs> makes the machine light up and a different ball rolls all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> oh. Pepper hasn't got the dinosaur, but she has got some very nice stickers. Dinosaur! What lovely toys you got. <gasps> but look, our ice cream is starting to melt. So close. I have a feeling the dinosaur will come out next time. <laughs> Please, can we have one more go, Mummy? Please! Oh, go on then. <laughs> one more try. Hooray! <laughs> Pepper and George pull the lever on the toy machine. But this time, no balls pop out. Oh! <laughs> Oh dear, I wanted to see what toy you were going to get. Not to <gasps> worry, Mummy Pig. I can fix it. I just need to find my screwdriver. Nope. Nope. Screwdriver. <gasps> ah, thank you, George. <gasps> <gasps> Yay! Oh! <gasps> Miss Rabbit has fixed the machine too much. Now all the balls have fallen out. I'd better put these back, but I think you earned this for helping me fix the machine. <gasps> Dinosaur! <laughs> Thank you, Miss Rabbit. This is for you. Eh? <gasps> <laughs> Everyone loves the toy machine and George really loves dinosaurs. Ooh. And that's how you play shuffleboard. My puck landed at the bottom, so I get one point. Wow. Today on the cruise, Peppa and her family are learning to play shuffleboard. Now, Grandpa Pig can either knock my puck away or slide his into the triangle and get points. Let's give it a go. Grandpa Pig has knocked Granny Pig's puck into George's sand. That's two points for me. Can I try next? Yes, use this cue stick and push the puck into the triangle. Hmm. Ugh. Oh, it didn't move very much. Why don't you try giving yourself a running start? Good idea. Pepper is taking a big runner. But the sand is very slippery. <laughs> I didn't get any points. Not to worry. It's about having fun, not scoring points. Besides, no one is an expert their first time. <laughs> well done, show. George. I'll just have to keep trying. <laughs> Pepper is trying lots of different ways of sliding the puck. Whoa! My ice cream. Aha. Uh -huh. uh. But oh. nothing seems to be working. Ah. <laughs> uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Oh. At least you missed my ice cream cone this time. No. <laughs> Oh, dear. My turn, Peppa. Here you go, Granny. <sniffs> ah. Granny's puck has pushed Peppa's puck into the triangle. I got three points. Hooray! Peppa <laughs> is very excited ah. to keep practicing. But there are no pucks left to play with. Oh. <laughs> George has used them to complete his sandcastle. <laughs> Everyone loves playing shuffleboard, but George loves making sandcastles even more. Peppa and her family have bought lots of food at the supermarket. And now they have very rumbly tummies. <laughs> What's for dinner?
dinner, my tummy's <laughs> making lots of noises. Tonight, we're making tacos. Yay! <laughs> What's a taco? And how do you make them? <laughs> it's a delicious food from Mexico. And the best way to make tacos is all together. <laughs> Pepper, George and Mummy Pig are washing vegetables for their tacos. Let's make sure the vegetables are nice and clean. Splish, splash, wish, wash, wash the veggies clean. Splish, splash, wish, wash, wash the veggies clean. <laughs> splish, splash, wish, splash, splash. Now Pepper and Mummy Pig are nice and clean too. Now the vegetables are clean, we can carefully slice some onions. Here you go, Daddy. <laughs> What's wrong, Daddy? Don't you like onions? Oh, don't worry, Pepper. The juice from the onion sometimes makes your eyes water. I just need something to cover my eyes. I know. Pepper knows a perfect way to protect their eyes from the onions. These are perfect, Pepper. Ah, onions again, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll make some guacamole. Hooray! I love guacamole. <laughs> then you can mash the avocado, Pepper. Pepper likes <laughs> mashing the avocado. It's very fun and messy. Oops! <laughs> Perhaps try a bit more gently, Peppa? Perfect! Now we mix in other ingredients. And add a very special squeeze of lime. Squeeze! <laughs> All right, George. You can add the special squeeze. Yay! <laughs> oh, it's a good job I'm wearing my safety goggles. <laughs> Now all the ingredients are ready, it's time to put the tacos together. This is the best bit. Take your tortilla, like this. And add your favourite ingredients. Peppa likes her taco with lots of guacamole. George likes his taco empty. Mummy and Daddy Pig like their tacos with everything. Mm. Everyone thinks the tacos are very tasty. But they've all dropped their filling. Hooray! Now we can put them together again. <laughs> Today, Peppa is very excited to get ready for playgroup. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hop. That's because today is... Picture Day! Hooray! Madam hmm. Gazelle has made a special photo booth for picture day. Ooh! Mm. Ready for your picture, Peppa? Yes! I stayed clean and tidy all morning. That's fun. I brought my football kit for my picture. Oh. Peppa didn't know that she could dress up for picture day. Hello, children. You may dress up for your pictures if you like. But remember, all that matters is that your picture shows something special about you. <gasps> oh! Would you like to go first, Danny? Yes, please. <laughs> Pepper thinks Ooh. Danny's pictures look very good indeed. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Susie Sheep has dressed as a nurse for her picture. She loves to dress up as a nurse. Hmm. Mandy Mouse loves to play the recorder, so she is playing a song in her pictures. What a lovely tune, Mandy. George, would you like to go next? What are you going to use for your picture, George? Dinosaur! George has decided to take his picture with his favourite toy. What a ferocious dinosaur you are, George. Peppa, it's your turn. But I haven't found anything perfect to wear, Madam Gazelle. 
Oh, you don't have to wear something special, Peppa. Your picture just has to have something that makes you happy. Oh. Nothing makes Peppa oh. happier <gasps> than jumping in muddy puddles. <laughs> oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Perfect. Now, there is just one picture left to take. A class uh, picture. But who is going to take the picture, Madam Gazelle? The camera has a timer, uh -huh. so it will take the picture all by itself in three, two, one. Say cheese. Cheese! Peppa and her <laughs> friends love picture day, but uh -huh. Madam Gazelle loves picture day most of all. Today, Peppa and her family have been shopping at the supermarket. Goodbye, supermarket. Supermarket! <laughs> Is that a robot? <laughs> no, Peppa. It's a vending machine. You put money in to buy the food and drinks inside. Can we buy something from the robot, please? <laughs> OK. We can each choose one thing as a special treat. Yay! Peppa is very excited to buy something from the robot vending machine. Here you go, Peppa. <laughs> Goodbye, coin. Now, press the button that matches the thing you would like. I would like an orange juice. There it is! Hooray! Delicious! <laughs> dinosaur! George has found a biscuit shaped like a dinosaur. Here you go, George. <laughs> now, press the button with the dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur! <gasps> <laughs> I think I will have hmm that drink. Oh dear, it's stuck. Daddy Pig's drink is stuck on a sandwich. The sandwich is in the way. Naughty sandwich. We'll need to buy the sandwich as well, so the drink will fall down with it. <laughs> Oh, it's stuck again. Naughty pineapple. Ah, let's buy that too. It's stuck again. Again. The drink has finally fallen all the way down to the bottom. Good evening! I can finally have my drink. <gasps> oh no! My drink has turned into fizz. Poor Daddy. Why don't you choose something else from the vending machine? Good idea. Oh, the vending machine is empty. That's because we bought everything! <laughs> Pepper and Susie are pretending to be police officers. Police, we'll help you. <laughs> Thanks, police officers. You're welcome. Now we must get back to solving crimes. Nino! Bye. Nino! Oh, my! What is it, Madam Gazelle? I think my special pen has gone missing. <gasps> this sounds like a mystery. Ah. Don't worry. Me and Police Officer Susie will solve the case. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are looking for clues to find the special <laughs> pen. They're using a magnifying glass to make small things look bigger. Aha! Purple. That's the oh. same colour oh. as Danny oh. Dog's T-shirt. 
Have you oh. seen the special pen, Danny? I don't think so. Well, we'd better take you to the police station to ask you some questions. Peppa and Susie have made a pretend police station so they can ask everyone questions about the missing pen. <laughs> It's made from books and pillows. This police station doesn't even have doors. It's a nice place to read, though. Peppa and Susie are asking everybody about the special pen. Oh. They've brought Candy Cat to the pretend police station. Candy Cat, can you remember what colour the special pen is? Hmm, red? No, green. Actually, pink. No, uh, blue! Aha! Uh -huh. You've been very helpful. Let's take a big look around. The special blue pen must be <gasps> hidden somewhere. Pepper and Susie are searching everywhere for the special pen. Ah! But they can't find it anywhere. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. Hmm, I have an idea. Now, Madam Gazelle is answering questions at the pretend police station. When did you last see your pen, Madam Gazelle? Well, let's see. I used it this morning, then I put it behind my ear. Oh, my! Yay! Madam Gazelle's special <laughs> pen has been behind her ear all along. We found it! <laughs> we solved the mystery! <laughs> Hooray! Thank you for helping me, Peppa and Susie. I think you would make very good police <gasps> officers. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends are at the water park. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. Before you all go swimming, I have some important rules to teach you. Miss Rabbit is telling everyone how to be safe in the swimming pool. The first rule is no splashing. <laughs> no splashing, Mr Bull. Whoops! Sorry, Pepper. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. That's OK, Mr Bull. The second rule is no running. <laughs> <laughs> Silly Mr Bull, no running Sorry again Mr Bull doesn't know any of the rules And the last rule is Everyone must have a simply splendid time Oh, oh Have a splendid time Mr Bull Oh, ho, ho, ho. right you are, Peppa. Enjoy the pool, everyone. What shall we do first? Let's go on the water slide. <coughs> Hooray! Everyone is very excited to ride the water slides. <laughs> Hello again. Who wants to go down the slide? Me! <laughs> well, you're in luck. There is one slide for each of you. Let's have a race! Good idea! Lucky I brought my flag! On your marks, get set, go! And Danny Dog zooms into the lead, followed by Pepper. Then it's Gerald Giraffe and Susie Sheep coming up behind. It's incredibly close, water slide racing at its best. Hello, Granny. Hello, Mr. Bull. Oh. Oh. They're nearly at the finish line. It's neck and neck. Who will come out on top? It's... Everybody wins! <laughs> Peppa and her friends love the slides, but they have forgotten the first rule of the water park. Oh. Uh -huh. 
No, no splashing! <laughs> Peppa and Emily Elephant are having lots of fun at the beach today. They love the water. <laughs> Look, Emily, I'm a fish. <gasps> blob, blob, blob. <laughs> I have an idea. <gasps> Peppa, <gasps> how did you do that, Emily? Did you hold your breath? <laughs> no. I can use my trunk to breathe because it's so long. Oh. <gasps> What's the matter, Peppa? I wish I had a trunk like Emily. So I could breathe underwater and look at the fish. I know. Come with me, Peppa. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> this long tube goes in your mouth and means you can breathe underwater. Like Emily's trunk. <laughs> <laughs> exactly like Emily's trunk. <laughs> Why does your voice sound funny, Peppa? It's my snorkel. It means I can breathe underwater like you. Look! <gasps> no, Peppa! Yuck! Oh, Peppa, you must be careful. Yuck. The snorkel didn't work. And the water tasted horrible. That's because it's salt water, Peppa. You need to keep your lips shut tight around the snorkel so you can breathe through your mouth without letting water in. You have to take long, deep breaths, like this. <sighs> Peppa practices taking big, deep breaths. <sighs> Do you want to try again? Um, OK. I did it! I saw lots of colourful fish! Yes, well done! And thank you for helping her, Emily. <laughs> and to get rid of the taste of the salty water, George and I thought you might like some... Ice cream! Peppa is trying very hard to open a piñata <laughs> and get the treats inside because today Peppa's playgroup are learning about a Mexican holiday called Cinco de Mayo. Oh, children! We need more decorations for the classroom to make the class look extra ah. happy. So let's make some pom-pom flowers. Pom-pom! <laughs> I like that word. Just attach the cardboard stem to the middle of the ball of tissue paper and voila! Wow! wow. Oh. 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 I can't make the flower. I will help you. <laughs> mm. This is tricky. Oh, dear. <laughs> Everyone has made a lot of pom-pom flowers. Well, did we make too many? Of course not. Now our classroom <laughs> looks extra, extra happy. Next, we're going to make some delicious guacamole. Guacamole? Guacamole! Mm. It's a Mexican treat made of avocados and you eat it with carrots or <gasps> cucumber or special crisps called tortillas. Oh. Guacamole! <laughs> guacamole! 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 <laughs> Madame Gazelle is peeling an avocado and adding some lime juice and salt to the bowl. Now we 
we just need to mash it all together. <laughs> oh! Mmm! Guacamole! Would anyone like to try some guacamole? Yes, please. Mmm! Delicious! Mm. Mm. Yummy guacamole! Mm. Yummy guacamole! <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, Peppa! Another way to celebrate Cinco de Mayo is to sing! Yummy guacamole! Yummy guacamole! Yummy guacamole! And dancing is another important part of Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Peppa has hit the piñata and all the sweets are pouring out. Peppa is enjoying her first Cinco de Mayo and really in... Today, Peppa and George are going for a picnic with Granny and Grandpa Pig. Nearly there! It's Peppa's first time being in charge of packing the picnic. Are you OK, Peppa? I need to bring all my toys for the picnic, but they won't fit. Hmm. Do you need all of your toys? Uh, I know. I can just bring Teddy instead. Dinosaur! <laughs> and dinosaur. Wonderful. We won't have space for the food if we bring all your toys. What kind of food would you like to make for the picnic, Peppa? Oh, let's make spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Spaghetti is not very good picnic food. How about sandwiches? I love sandwiches too. <laughs> what is your favourite kind of sandwich? Jam! <laughs> Peppa, George and Granny Pig are making Yay! jam sandwiches. Will we need anything else for the picnic, Peppa? Um, we need a comfy picnic blanket. Can you find one, Grandpa? Aye, aye, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Making jam sandwiches is very messy. And cleaning the mess has made an even bigger mess. Not to worry. You can't make jam sandwiches without getting a little jammy. <laughs> Peppa's sandwiches are triangles. Ta-da! And George's are dinosaurs. <laughs> Got the blanket. need anything else, Peppa? Hmm. We need cups for our orange juice. Well done, Peppa. Looks like we're ready to go. This is going to be so oh. much fun. Oh no, it's raining. Picnics are not as fun in the rain. Oh dear, I think our outdoor picnic will have to wait, oh. Peppa. Oh. But why don't we have an indoor picnic instead? Yay! Peppa has set up her picnic indoors. Now we can have a picnic even when it's raining. And all my toys can come too. Picnic! <laughs> Everyone loves Peppa's picnic and Peppa loved packing it for them. Today is pancake day at Peppa's playgroup. Ah! the pancake pictures? Yes, we can. We just need more pancake mix. Yay! <laughs> Pepper pours flour into the bowl. <laughs> Candy Cat adds an egg to the mix. Wow! Danny Dog adds the milk. And Susie Sheep gives everything a good mix. <laughs> Madam Gazelle adds food colouring to the pancake mix so they can make colourful pancake pictures. 
Now we can draw any pancake picture we like in the cold pan before we cook the pancake. Can you add some pink here, Susie? <laughs> and some more over here? Wow! What's what it? Uh -huh. hmm. <laughs> what are you drawing, Madam Gazelle? You'll see. Now the pan will get very hot. So you must step back for this bit, children. The pancake looks just like Pepper. I'm Pepper Pancake. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm really yummy. Can we make a rainbow next? Why, of course. Pepper and her friends add all the colours of the rainbow. Red. Orange. Yellow. Green. Blue. The rainbow pancake. <laughs> no, you haven't. All the blue has created a lovely blue sky. Colorful! Let's make the biggest pancake in the world. Hooray! Baking powder will give us the fluffiest pancake. Just a little will do. Madam Gazelle has added more than a little baking powder. The pancake is getting bigger and bigger. Oh dear. I'm not sure we can eat this, children. Aww. But it makes a great trampoline. Peppa loves pancake day. Everyone loves Pancake Day. Today, Mummy Pig is going for a relaxing day at the spa. <laughs> oh, sorry, Mummy Pig. I've got to close early today. I've got the sniffles. Oh, I was really looking forward to my spa day. Why don't we make a spa at home? Oh, that's a great idea, Peppa. Pepper is very good at having ideas. Hello, Mrs. Mummy. Welcome to the spa. Oh! <laughs> Pepper has turned the living room into a very wow. special spa. First, we are going to, um. What happens at the spa, Mummy? Well, we normally start with a nice cup of lemon water. I can do that. <laughs> I'll get you some lemony water, Mrs. Mummy. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mmm. Thank you, Peppa. This is the lemoniest water I've ever seen. What's next? Next, I'd like to have a foot bath. Yay! Hooray! What's a foot bath? It's a very small bath just for your feet. OK, time for your very small bath just for your feet, Mrs Mummy. Come on, Daddy. <laughs> Peppa and Daddy Pig are making their very own foot bath. This ought to do the trick. Ah, that's so relaxing. <gasps> Peppa has turned the foot bath into a regular bath. Here are the boats you ordered, Miss Pepper. <laughs> you have to have bubbles and toys in the bath. <laughs> Wonderful! <laughs> I'll suggest this to Miss Rabbit. What's next, Mummy? Next, it's time for a massage. Uh, um... Here, lie down on the sofa and I'll show you how it works. Pepper finds the massage very tickly. <laughs> Your turn, Mummy. Oh, <laughs> it's <laughs> very different to my normal massage. It's a special pepper <laughs> massage. <laughs> Choo -choo. Now, the last thing I do at the spa is have a mud mask, which is... A mask made of mud. Yes, 
a special spa mud that's good for your skin. I don't think we have any special spa mud here, though. I've got an idea. Peppa <laughs> is very, very good at having ideas. We don't need spa mud when we've got muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> They're just like muddy puddle face masks. <laughs> Peppa loves a spa day, especially when it involves jumping in muddy puddles. <laughs> Today, Peppa is very excited to get ready for playgroup. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's because today is... Picture day! Hooray! Madame Gazelle has made a special photo booth for picture day. Ooh! Ready for your picture, Peppa? Yes! I stayed clean and tidy all morning. That's fun. I brought my football kit for my picture. Oh. Peppa didn't know that she could dress up for picture day. Hello, children. You may dress up for your pictures if you like. Hooray! But remember, all that matters is that your picture shows something special about you. Oh. Oh. Would you like to go first, Danny? Yes, please. <laughs> Pepper thinks Ooh. Danny's pictures look very good indeed. <laughs> 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 Susie Sheep has dressed as a nurse for her picture. She loves to dress up as a nurse. Hmm. Mandy Mouse loves to play the recorder, so she is playing a song in her pictures. What a lovely tune, Mandy. George, would you like to go next? What are you going to use for your picture, George? Dinosaur! George has decided to take his picture with his favourite toy. What a ferocious dinosaur you are, George. Peppa, it's your turn. But I haven't found anything perfect to wear, Madam Gazelle. Oh, you don't have to wear something special, Peppa. Your picture just has to have something that makes you happy. Oh. <laughs> Nothing makes Peppa oh. happier <gasps> than jumping in muddy puddles. <laughs> oh. uh <-huh. laughs> Perfect! Now there is just one picture left to take. A class uh. picture. But who is going to take the picture, Madam Gazelle? The camera has a timer, uh. so it will take the picture all by itself in three... Two, one, say cheese. Cheese! Peppa and her friends love Picture Day, but oh. Madame Gazelle loves Picture Day most of all. Uh, oh dear. Wah, wah. There, there. Today, Peppa has found a video <gasps> of when she was a baby. <laughs> I was a very loud baby, wasn't I, Daddy? Ho, ho. Yes, all babies are sometimes. Gosh, oh. that must have been when I was pregnant with George. Pregnant? What does that mean? <laughs> that means he was still in my tummy. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. <laughs> what are you doing, Peppa? Look, now there's a baby in my tummy too. Oh. <laughs> Very good, Peppa. Now, what do people with babies in their tummies do? Hmm, I used to get lots of funny cravings, which are when you really want to eat certain foods. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Yum. Peppa oh. has decided she ah. has a craving too. I really want to eat... Oh. Spaghetti! <laughs> Peppa mm. thinks cravings are delicious. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was very yummy. 
What else happens when you have a baby in your tummy, Mummy? Well, I'd get tired a lot. So kind people would offer me their seat so I could sit down when I needed it. Hmm. <clears throat> Hello, Peppa. I have a baby on my tummy and I'm very tired. So you need to give me your chair, please, Daddy. <laughs> Gosh. right -o. here you go. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> and sometimes my feet would hurt. So Daddy Pig would give me foot rubs. <gasps> Peppa likes the sound of foot rubs. Daddy, my feet are hurting, so I need to have a foot rub, please. Oh, well, not a moment to lose. <laughs> oh, 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 a little here and a little Daddy Pig's foot rubs are more Mr. like Spot? foot tickles. <laughs> oh. oh. There's one more thing that happened when Mummy Pig was pregnant. What was it? Eventually, Ooh. a baby came. Auntie Pig has brought Baby Alexander for a visit. Hi, Baby Alexander. I was pretending I had a baby oh. in my tummy. But now we can pretend that you're my baby. <gasps> <gasps> Real babies are quite noisy, actually. So I think I'll keep my cushion instead. Oh. oh. <laughs> Today, Peppa and George are at a fun fair. <laughs> Hi, Peppa. Have you been in the fun house yet? What's a fun house? It's a special fun fair house that has lots of silly rooms and funny hallways. <laughs> Can me and George go into the fun house, please? Please. Hello, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Two for the fun house. To enter the fun house, Mummy Pig must buy tokens from Miss um... Rabbit. But the tokens cost more coins than Mummy Pig thought. Oh. Thank you, Mummy Pig. Right this way. Hey! Ooh! This is the rickety rackety bridge. Pass through to see the rest of the fun house. <laughs> Peppa is moving very slowly and carefully across the bridge. But George thinks it's fun to go very fast. Your way is much better, George. Whee! <laughs> Congratulations! Now you need to follow the arrows. This way, George. <laughs> These mirrors are so wobbly. The funhouse mirrors make <laughs> Pepper and George look very silly indeed. This mirror makes me look so tall. And you look like you have a very big head, George. <laughs> that one makes you look really round. Round! And this mirror makes me look like Miss Rabbit. That's because I am Miss Rabbit. <gasps> <laughs> Follow me to the twisty, turny tunnel. <laughs> The funhouse tunnel spins round and round. Ooh! And it's very windy. <laughs> Look! After the tunnel, we get to go down the slide. Yay! I'll help you, George. <laughs> I wonder what's taking so long. I hope they're not lost. <laughs> How was it? The fun house was really fun. How fitting. Everyone <laughs> loves the fun house because the fun house is very fun. Welcome oh. to the ice cream shop. <gasps> it is a very hot day. So Peppa and George are playing ice cream shop. <laughs> Here you go, <sighs> Mr. Daddy Pig. Oh, thank you. What would you like, Mrs. Mummy Pig? I'd like a banana split, please. Hooray! Oh. Ooh! What's a banana split, Granny? <laughs> it's a type of dessert. First, we need to cut a banana in half. Now 
Oh, ho, 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 ho. Now we add ice cream, cherries, and whipped cream. Ah. George <laughs> likes adding the ice cream. Careful, don't squish the banana. <laughs> <laughs> and Peppa really likes adding whipped cream. Don't forget ah. the cherry on top. Ah. Here is your oh. banana split, Mrs. Mummy Pig. <laughs> this looks delicious. Oh, please could I have a Knickerbocker Glory? Uh -huh. A Knockanori? What's that, madam? Ho, ho, ho. Uh -huh. It's a type of ice cream sundae. Can you only eat them on Sundays? Oh. Ho, ho, not that type of Sunday. You can eat them any time. Ah. I'll show you. Uh -huh. We need ice cream, fruit, meringue and cream. <laughs> Peppa and George add all the ingredients into the glass. Oh. And now you can decorate the top. Yay. Then decorate with wafers, colourful sprinkles and sauce. Here you are, ah, madam. This looks wonderful. <laughs> now everyone has been served, what kind of ice cream would you two like? Hmm, a rainbow <laughs> one. Rainbow. Peppa and George use lots of different <laughs> coloured ice cream. Pink for strawberry, brown for chocolate, yellow for <laughs> banana. Nana. Then they add their toppings. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Let's mix it all together. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Peppa and George have mixed all the colours together. We've made a muddy puddle. Ah. Not rainbow ice cream. I'm afraid we don't have much ice cream left. All we have is... Vanilla. My favourite. <laughs> Peppa and George like making special ice creams, but they love vanilla ice cream the most. Today, Peppa and her playgroup are at a juice factory. They're learning how juice is made. And this is the fruit squeezer. It squeezes all the juice out of the oranges. Can I try squeezing oranges, Miss Rabbit? Of course, you can all try. Hooray! Everyone is having lots of fun squeezing the oranges. But it is very hard work. <laughs> My hands are tired. That's OK, because next up, we have the juice stomper. Oh. The stomper has big boots to stomp out all the juice from the strawberries. Can I try stomping, Miss Rabbit? Yes, everyone can try. Hooray! Pop these boots on and stomp away. <laughs> it's just like jumping in a muddy puddle. Well done, everyone. Now follow me. This is where the juice is put into cartons. We have to match the flavour with the picture on the cartons. What flavour is this one? Yoink! It's red. Is it strawberry? Well done, Mandy. Press the red button to fill it up. <laughs> and how about this one? It's green. So... Apple! <laughs> Spot on, Susie. And this one? It's lots of colours! <laughs> well done, Peppa. You've created a brand new type of juice. It's rainbow juice. <laughs> Everyone thinks the rainbow juice looks very delicious indeed. This is the tasting room. It's where we make sure all the juice <laughs> tastes scrum diddly umptious. But to make it fun, you have to guess what flavour each juice is. 
Peppa and her playgroup love tasting <laughs> juice. Ah, yum! This is orange uh -huh. juice. Juices at once. That's because it's your special rainbow <gasps> juice. Yum, yum, yum. Pepper loves learning about juice, and Pepper really loves her delicious rainbow juice. Pepper is arriving at playgroup. Hello, Madam Gazelle. Bonjour, Pepper. You are just in time for a very special game. Madam Gazelle has divided the room into four colours. Red, blue, green and yellow. You can join the green team, Peppa. Here is your bib. Et voila! <laughs> now, in this game, I will give you a category. What's a cat get -tory? A category is a group of things. I will say a category, and you have to find something that matches your color. So, if I say food... That means we have to find food. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was just an example, but... Okay, let's begin. Everyone is very excited to play the game. Bananas! These are very yellow. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Tomatoes are red. Susie Sheep's blue food is a blueberry. <laughs> Nothing is bluer than a blueberry. This leaf is green. Unfortunately, Peppa, it is not food. You cannot eat that leaf. But a caterpillar can. <laughs> well done! Yay! Now, I think the next category is toys. But let me check my list. Which I have lost. Hmm. Everyone at Playgroup loves finding <laughs> toys. <laughs> That was too easy. <coughs> I've got another category. What is it? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Madam Gazelle is taking a long time to find her list. <laughs> Found it. Now, let's carry on with... Oh, my. We finished the game, Madam Gazelle. We found everything in the whole room. <laughs> well, in that case, let us play a new game. Putting everything away again. <gasps> Stop! <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family <gasps> are walking to the duck pond. But there's a big metal barrier in the way. Sorry, folks. The path is closed. But we're almost at the pond. Huh? I'm afraid it's much too slippy. Whoa! <laughs> Just follow the diversion signs with the bright red arrows. Won't take you long. A diversion is when you have to go a different way. Come on, everyone. It'll be an adventure. See you soon, ducks. <laughs> Here it is. Oh. Peppa has found the first bright red arrow. And another. Huh. <laughs> and another. <gasps> oh. <gasps> but the next sign has fallen down. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Sign. 
Ooh. Nobody knows which way to go. Hmm. Do we go left or right? The right way sounds... right. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Are we lost? We're not lost. We just don't know where we are. When you don't know where you are, you are probably lost. Uh, um. Look, oh. a duck. Hello, duck. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Duck. Do you know where the duck pond is? What a spot of luck. Lead the way, duck. This is a duck trail, Daddy. We must all waddle like ducks. We're going to the duck pond, big wiggle whack. We're going to see the ducks go quack, quack, quack. We're, We're going, going to, to the duck, duck pond, big wiggle whack. We're, We're going, going to see the ducks go quack, quack, quack. Peppa and her family have made it to the duck pond. We did it! Yay! You took your time! I bet you're glad you took the diversion. Yes. It was much more fun. Whoa! <laughs> and much less slippery. Baby Alexander and his family have come to say Happy Christmas. But Baby Alexander isn't happy at all. Why is Baby Alexander crying? Christmas is fun. Well, this is Baby Alexander's first Christmas. He doesn't know how fun it can be yet. Then it's got to be extra special. I'll show him all my favourite Christmassy things. I love Christmas dinner. It has carrot, potato, sprouts. <laughs> no, you're supposed to eat it, not throw it. Let's try something else. Wrapping presents is really fun. You can put the bow on top. <laughs> No, we need to wrap them up so other people can open them. Alexander thinks unwrapping presents is much more fun than wrapping them. I don't think Alexander likes Christmas at all. Really? He's been having fun with you all day. But I wanted it to be extra special for him. Spending Christmas with his cousin is extra special, Peppa. But he's doing it all wrong. Alexander is just a baby. Maybe you need to find some simple things he can do right. Christmas for babies. Oh, I have some ideas. <laughs> baby Alexander enjoys passing out the Christmas presents. Thank you, Alexander. This one's for Mummy. And he really likes Christmas crafts. <laughs> well done, Alexander. And music. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. Hooray! But he enjoys spending Christmas with Peppa most of all. Now we'll always remember Alexander's first Christmas. <laughs> wow! Today, Peppa and her family are visiting the arcade. You 
got a high score. That's because Peppa and I are experts at all of these games. Look at all these tokens, Peppa. If you collect lots of these, you can trade them in for a huge prize. Wow, a prize? Squeak! Look at all these tokens! <laughs> Can we play that game next? Of course, Peppa. Mummy Pig is showing Peppa how to play Carrot Bop. She is bopping the carrots whenever they pop up. Bop! 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 <laughs> Would you both like to have a go? Yes, please. Bop! Bop! Prize, Daddy. Daddy? <laughs> Daddy Pig is playing the dancing game. Daddy Pig loves dancing. Wow. I'm a bit of an expert at dancing, you know. Your turn, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Yay! <laughs> Phew, that was fun. But is there a game we can play all together? I know just the game. <laughs> Peppa and her family are playing a balloon game. Whoever fills their balloon with water first wins. Yes, your score was so high that you have all won the jackpot. Now you can trade in all your tokens for a huge prize. Hooray! Let's go! Hello again, Peppa. Here are all our tokens. Can we please have our prize? Of course. With this many tokens, you can get a marvellous, extraordinary, one-of-a-kind pencil. Hooray! A pencil! Peppa loves winning lots of tokens with her family at the arcade. And Peppa really loves her brand new pencil. Oh, another apple. Oh. <sighs> By the power of vegetables, I am here! One moment! Whoa. Um, now, I am here! Wow! Whoa. It is I, the superest superhero ever! And I've come here to teach you all how to be superheroes too! Hooray! Peppa and her playgroup are all dressed as superheroes. Your first lesson of superhero school is to use your superhero powers to do something kind for the world. <gasps> <laughs> Susie is being kind to the worm by helping to dig its hole. Freddy is being kind to the plant by watering it. And Peppa is being kind to the whole world by making sure all the rubbish is recycled and not on the floor. You all did so well in your first lesson. The next lesson in superhero school is to finish this obstacle course and save Madame Gazelle from the supervillains. On your marks, get set, go! But everyone is too tired to run. and be super strong. Aren't we superheroes? Hmm. I've got it. Has anyone had any fruits or vegetables today? Mm -hmm. I didn't want to eat my carrots today. And I left my apple in my lunchbox. Aha! Fruits and vegetables help us stay healthy and give us super energy. Superheroes ah! must have lots of energy to run and jump. Madame Gazelle has set up a table with plates of delicious fruits and vegetables to eat. Peppa 
Peppa and her friends have eaten their fruits and vegetables. Now they have lots of super energy and are ready to try again. We're here to save you! My heroes! My super heroes! Congratulations! You have all been super today! And every superhero gets a hero's reward. What would you like? Are there any more carrots? By the power of fruits and vegetables, Peppa and her playgroup have saved the day. A super strike for a super bowler. Today, Susie Sheep is having a bowling party. <laughs> I want to get a super strike too. I know how to do it. I've been bowling lots of times. Then you can show everyone what to do, Peppa. OK. We should take our pictures for the scoreboard. <laughs> Just step in front of the camera and say cheese. Cheese! Perfect. This is your bowling lane. Ooh. Now you shoot the bowling ball. Then you throw it straight ahead, like this. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to try. I like this one. The pink ball is very heavy. <laughs> try this one instead. It's lighter. Whoa! Crikey! Anyone lost a ball? Oh, no. I'll try next. Oh. Pedro Pony's ball has gone into the gutter at the side of the lane. Whoops! My turn. Whoa! Susie Sheep, Pedro Pony and Gerald Giraffe haven't quite got the hang of bowling yet. Don't worry. We need to find a better way to play. Hmm. Why don't you try with the barriers up this time? It's another fun way to play. Now you try, Pedro. OK, but I don't want my bowling ball to bounce. No problem. You can use a ramp to help the ball roll in a straight line. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Peppa and her friends are having lots of fun bowling in their own ways. <laughs> but Susie Sheep still wants to get a super strike. All right, everyone. It's your last bowl. Good luck. <laughs> Watch this. Susie Sheep is bowling backwards. Oh. <gasps> a super strike for a super bowler! Susie Sheep has got a super strike. Susie Sheep loves bowling. Everyone loves bowling. Hello, everybody! <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family have come to a concert of Madame Gazelle's band, The Rocking Gazelles. Thing. How about now? Hooray! Thank you! <laughs> oh dear! Gerald Giraffe is also on his daddy's shoulders and is blocking everyone's view. Oh! Hi, Peppa! <laughs> hi, George! Gerald and his daddy have moved to the side, so now everyone can see. <laughs> With a one and two and one, two, three, four! Yay! Everyone is having a wonderful time! Peppa and Daddy Pig are really enjoying the music. Are you having fun, Peppa? Yes! Are you having fun, George? George? Peppa and Daddy Pig have accidentally ended up <laughs> in the middle of the crowd. We'll come and find you soon, Mummy Pig. What? 
I said we'll come and find you soon. But I don't need a spoon. Have fun, George. Whee! Everyone is dancing. It's like being in a big dancing swimming pool. Ho, ho, ho. There are even some inflatable beach balls. Got it. Well done, Peppa. Thank you. Thank you. <gasps> oh. Oops. Sorry, Mr. Bull. Sorry, Madam Gazelle. Not to worry. Happens all the time. That's okay. I love pop music. In fact, it reminds me of my next song. One, two, three, four. Pop, pop. Popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping away. Pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles all day. Pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping, bubbles, popping away. You found us. Pop, pop, Mummy and George Pig have danced all the way to the front of the concert too. Madame Gazelle has invited Peppa and her family to join them on stage. Pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping away. Pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping bubbles all day. Hooray! Yay! Everyone loves Madame Gazelle's concert, and everyone really loves pop, pop, popping bubbles. Peppa and her friends are going to play on the seesaw. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Is there a problem, Mr. Bull? Just finishing fixing the seesaw, Daddy Pig. <laughs> there, now it's safe as houses and ready to go. Hooray! Pepper loves playing on the seesaw. Will you play with me, Mr. Bull? It's fun. Me? Why not? It is fixed and ready after all. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> well, that was fun. How are you going to get down? You need to go up so Peppa can come down. Oh, like this? Whee! <laughs> Mr. Bull is stuck at the bottom of the seesaw. Mr. Bull is a grown-up and Peppa is small, so the seesaw won't balance. You need something heavy on Peppa's side. Blimey, how do you know that? I am a clever clonk. <laughs> Righto, then. Peppa's backpack will make ah. her heavier. Ah. <laughs> up, 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 up. <laughs> Whee! Whee! Oh. <laughs> we are as high as the clouds. <laughs> Mr. Bull is still stuck oh. at the bottom of the seesaw. Oh, I suppose it's good fun at the bottom too. What a cracking view of the grass. <laughs> we need another grown-up to play with Mr. Bull. Meow. Hmm. I wonder where we can find another grown-up. You're a grown-up, Daddy. Oh, yes, so I am. I'll play with you, Mr. Bull. Ah. Yay! Whoa! <laughs> Daddy Pig Whoa. and Mr. Bull are both grown-ups, so the seesaw is balanced and goes up and down. Stop! Are you not having fun, Mr. Bull? I'm having a brilliant time. I just wanted to see the view. Okie dokie, let's go! Whee! Up into the sky! Hello, sun! Hello, grass! Hello, clouds! <laughs> Hello, pepper! <laughs> <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family are exploring an air show. 
Miss Rabbit is flying a hot air balloon. The sky is full of hot air balloons. Wow, there's so many of them. A cloud, a broccoli, a clown, a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very good, George. What's that? That is a biplane, Pepper. What is it doing? Some planes can write messages or draw in the sky. The biplane has drawn a picture of Pepper in the sky. <laughs> it's me. Hello, everybody. Hello, Hello Dr. Dr. Hamster. Hamster. Thank you for the sky picture. You're very welcome. <laughs> Off I go. <laughs> What's this? Is that another hot air balloon? This is a blimp. It floats like a balloon but has little propellers that help it fly along like a plane. Peppa and George think the blimp is very exciting. Would you all like a ride? Blimp, blimp, blimp! The blimp is taking off into the sky. We're so high up. This is the captain's announcement. In the sky, you'll see a bird. Hello, birds. A cloud. <laughs> Hello, clouds. Oh, and Dr. <gasps> Hamster. Hello again. There's so many buttons. Oh, yes. It takes lots of work to pilot a blimp like this. So please don't press any buttons. Um. <laughs> <laughs> This steering wheel helps move the blimp in different directions. Up and down and side to side. <laughs> and the radio Ooh. lets us make announcements to the whole air show. Ooh, can I make a pronouncement? I have a very important pronouncement to make. Of course. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. I'm in a blimp. Which is a bit like a balloon, but also a plane. <laughs> I hope you all have a lovely time at the air show. Oh dear, we've forgotten one very important thing. A pilot hat for Pepper and George. I'm Pilot Pepper. Pilot! Pepper loves the air show. Everyone loves the air show. Snap! Peppa is playing games with her friends. I love playing Snap. I keep winning. I don't like Snap. Peppa would quite like to win a game. Snap! I know. Let's play Snakes and Ladders instead. Woohoo! Snakes and Ladders. But I was winning. One, two, three, four. I'm going to win. Two places. Now I get to go up a ladder. I'm right near the finish line. Now it's your turn, Rebecca. Yeah. Oh dear, Rebecca isn't going to win if she goes down the snake. I know. Let's play Marble Run. I love Marble Run. Marble Run! But I was going to win. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Wow. Yay! Yay! My pink marble is winning. and her friends like swapping games. In fact, they like swapping games so much, they've forgotten who is winning.
Time for a new game called Tidying Up. <laughs> it is morning, and Pepper is having some delicious breakfast. Oh. What's happened to the cereal? <laughs> April Fools! <laughs> April Fools? What's that? Today is April Fools' Day. It's a day where people make each other laugh by playing silly jokes. Like I just did with your cereal. I like silly jokes. <coughs> Can we do one on Daddy? <coughs> That's a great idea. Daddy Pig mm. is reading on the sofa, but <laughs> Mummy Pig and Pepper have come to play a joke on him. Could you please pass my glasses, Mummy Pig? Of course. <laughs> Pepper and Mummy Pig are playing a joke on Daddy Pig. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's strange. These glasses have made it even harder to see. April Fools! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, these are joke glasses. Very funny. But you won't be able to play another joke on me. I am much too clever for that. Peppa <laughs> is playing another joke on Daddy Pig. Oh, no. Huh? I can't open this tube of crisps. Can you help me, Daddy? Of course, Peppa. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. That gave me a fright. <laughs> April, April Fools! <laughs> you got me again, Peppa. Well done. <laughs> Would you like to help me play an April Fool's Day joke on Mummy Pig, Peppa? <laughs> Peppa and her family have finished mm. dinner and are now eating dessert. <laughs> Aha! Me and Peppa have made a tasty chocolate cake for dessert, haven't we, Peppa? Yes. <laughs> How lovely! It looks delicious. <laughs> <laughs> My fork doesn't seem to work. <laughs> Try with your hands. Pepper and Daddy are playing a joke on Mummy Pig. <gasps> this isn't a cake. This is a sponge with icing on it. April, April Fools! Fools. <laughs> 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 what a clever joke. That reminds me, George brought some biscuits for you, Peppa. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, George. I love biscuits. <laughs> April Fools! Peppa <laughs> loves April Fools. Oh. <laughs> Peppa and Susie Sheep have decided to oh. wear their clothes backwards today. Oh! <laughs> Goodbye, Susie. Goodbye, Peppa. Oh. Hmm. Peppa, Susie, why are you wearing your clothes backwards? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and why are you walking backwards? Because today is Backwards Day. You say and do everything backwards. <laughs> No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, have fun. <laughs> we won't. <laughs> Pepper and Susie Sheep are chasing each other around the garden backwards. <laughs> You're it. Try to catch me. <laughs> it's very difficult to play games backwards. Where did you go, Susie? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I know. Let's play backwards in the park. 
Mr. Bull is very confused to see Peppa and Susie Sheep skipping backwards. Good morning. Why are you going backwards? It's backwards day. We have to do everything backwards. Is it backwards day already? <laughs> I'd better get my backwards drills ready. <laughs> oh, whoa! Whoa! Whoops! Sorry! Peppa and Susie Sheep spend backwards day playing in the park. Backwards swinging feels the same as forward. But not all the games are as fun backwards. This is backwards! No, this is backwards. Let's play backwards frisbee. Catch! <laughs> Who would like an ice cream? Yay! Oops, we mean no! no! Oh! <laughs> I see you're having a fun backwards day. Ah. <laughs> I'm going to eat my ice cream backwards. <laughs> Upside down isn't quite the same as backwards. It's all very confusing. I think backwards day might be over now. Peppa and Susie <laughs> Sheep enjoyed backwards day, but they're very glad that things aren't backwards anymore. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>